you gotta you gotta work harder than every every person that's trying to get what you want. There's so many other kids that want exactly what you want. You think you the only person that want what you want, man? You the only person that want to go D1? You the only person that want to play big time ball? No, you're not. So your mindset has to be, I have to outwork every single one of them. Outwork every single one of them, bro. And then by the time that happens, man, you gonna get what you want, bro. What's good, y'all boys, man? Today is Friday, January 7th, man. January 7th, and today we about to get after it. Got a three mile run planned today, and then going to hit legs in the gym. So yeah, man. So I asked some of y'all some questions on uh, Instagram. I asked y'all to ask me questions. And like throughout the day, I'm gonna uh, answer them. And then uh, it's just gonna be like certain periods where I'm gonna answer them. And then, uh, yeah, man, I'm gonna take y'all, show y'all what I do for leg day. Um, show y'all what I do, like what I eat and stuff. I just woke up, um, probably gonna eat like uh, some Eggo waffles and eggs. Like, that's pretty common breakfast for me. So yeah, man, um, should be a, a fun day and let's get it. All right, man, so the first question, so the first couple questions is actually kind of convenient. Some of y'all asked me like stuff about eating and stuff. So Dotson.Logan44 asked me, best tips for better eating. David Barbini asked me, do I meal prep? Makai. A Don underscore asked me, how can I get built like you? So I'm gonna take y'all to the kitchen, man, show y'all what I'm cooking up for breakfast. And I'm gonna talk y'all through like what I eat. So let's get to it. That's my dude right here, man. Say what up, mom. What you getting after it, sir? Way Kobe just woke up, cooking that eggs. He actually, he actually a real good cook, man. Actually, a real good cook. I don't know why he cooking his eggs like that though. But. All right, before I go on my run, I'm gonna knock out like a couple more of these questions. How tall were you as a freshman? Um, my freshman year, I was about five eleven, six foot, and then I grew like throughout the other span of my the rest of the years in high school. I gained like, or I grew like two more inches. So. My uh, freshman year, I was like 
uh, five eleven, six foot. Some advice for a fourteen year old. Uh, when I was fourteen, what age was I? When I was fourteen. Fourteen, I believe I was in my freshman year. I have a little bit more balance, right? So, for me, my freshman year, like I wanted <laughs> offers and stuff like so bad. Like I wanted to play college football so bad, and like I kind of zoned everything out. Like I didn't care about school. I didn't care about. Uh, like everything like school social life all i care about was football like in class bro i was i was like in class watching film like looking at the rankings and stuff like looking who got offers who got this who got that so i'll say like just like balance ba like have a have something else besides football uh like find a hobby outside of football and then i'll say like uh <clears throat> don't get too caught up in like all the offers and stuff like Everybody has a time, man. Your time will come. Like, uh, just be patient. Uh, I got like, I got to offer my junior year. So, <clears throat> I'll say, if I were to look back and give my 14 year old self advice, I'll say, uh, just be patient, man, and uh, trust God, man. Trust the process. Uh, everything gonna work out. Natty or nah? Yeah, I'm natty, bro. Fully natty. No, I never took any uh, supplements any of that. What is the best lift to do to increase your squat? Uh, for me, like a, a, a lot of my, this may sound retarded, but I feel like a lot of my squat strength is based off my lower back. Like I like I lower bar, I low bar squat, so a lot of my squat, like the strength comes from my, from my lower back. So uh, I say like a lot of deadlifts, a lot of old school uh, T bar rolls, a lot of just things in uh, the strength in your lower back. Uh, that's what that's what helped me out a lot and then when you squat make sure you're doing the like same squat every time like i see some people they squat like they squat in bands some days then they'll squat some squat shoes then they'll squat in no shoes at all i feel like whatever you squat and keep it consistent so it's like shooting a jump shot right if you keep changing up your jump shot it's gonna be different uh every time and uh it won't be consistent jump shot all right i feel like that's just the human squatting Squat with the same shoes, and then uh, your squat will increase. That helped me out a lot, man. I got some squat shoes, and I kept squatting with them every day, and my uh, squat went through the roof. So my ma uh, max bench, uh, my max bench is 445. I got 445 uh, last year at prep in the spring, and then I'm aiming for like 475 this year. If I can get five plates, that'd be crazy. But uh, 475 is a goal. I actually messed up my shoulder. I got in a car crash uh, in the summer, and uh, it messed up my shoulder. So uh, my 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 squat increased faster than my bench did. So uh, I'm, I was at a little plateau with my bench for a while, but my shoulder starting to get better, and uh, we starting to throw around some weight and, uh, and, uh, and bench. So how to get stronger in the SBD when you lift a plateau? When you hit a plateau. Uh, for me, when I hit plateaus, it's usually because I'm not training hard enough. So I feel like if you're going in the gym and you're doing, like, I hit a plateau because I was doing the same thing every day. Like, I remember back in Virginia Beach, I was like, uh, when I was like my junior year, I went to the gym and I did the same thing every day. I come in, uh, do a compound lift, then like just do accessories, right? You could do that, but make sure you're doing uh, compound. What's it called? Make make sure you're doing progressive overload, right? Uh, make sure you're constantly adding weight to whatever exercise you're doing. That's how you see uh, improvement, right? Don't go to the gym and freaking do the same weight every day. Do the same exercises. Your body's gonna adapt, and you're not gonna. It's, it's not just not gonna help out. So. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna do one more before I go on this run. What's your favorite pass rush move? I feel like this is pretty common, but I say speed of power. Like I'm strong as heck, so a lot of my like a lot of moves I can create are speed and power. So speed of power is my favorite pass rush move because it just it works a lot. Oh, what's on the line again, man? Bruh. That ain't no 
All right, man, before I go on this run, I'm about to unbox this. So, so, uh, I, so a lot of y'all don't know, man. I went to West Point and uh, I went at Transfer Portal and I'm going to another school. But when I was at West Point, I had a lot of companies read us, reach out to me and I couldn't respond because uh, West Point, we couldn't get like NIA deals and all that. So I just like started responding to all the companies and stuff. And uh, I got my first, uh, Package in here today is from uh, RSP RSP Nutrition, and uh, yeah, man, let's let's unbox this and see what it's about. Man. Hold up. So I think this is just like some pre-workout. So. Yeah. So this is the pre-workout uh, they're advertising. Um, it's actually cool. Is I like uh, I like like orange flavors like peach or orange. So. This will come in handy. And I never really use pre-workout, so this gonna help out a lot, man. Um, yeah, bro, kinda excited, man. First uh, NIL thing I got, so yeah, man, go check them out. Just finished up the three miles. All right, so like mid run, that was like one of the best runs I ever felt. Like I was chilling. Then the last like lap, like 0.25, it was gritty. Cause up here, that's a lot of like hills and stuff. You gotta go up and down. And the last like lap is going uphill. And I told myself, I'm running the whole thing, I'm not walking up the hill. Final time. <sighs> All right, so after my runs, usually hop in the shower, and then after I like to drink a protein shake and then eat another meal. So uh, it's about three, three o'clock. But before I hop in the shower and eat, I'm gonna answer some, some more of these questions. How often you lift? So my lift routine is six days a week. So Monday, uh, I do chest, I do bench press, I do heavy bench press. So I start off every workout with a heavy compound lift. So push days, I'll do like uh, chest, start off with bench press, really heavy. Uh, back days, I'll start off with uh, barbell rolls or deadlifts, real heavy. And then leg days, I start off with squats, real heavy. So I start off uh, compound lifts. So I lift six days a week uh, out of seven. And yeah, and then after the big compound lifts, I do accessories after that. And then on on deadlift days, I try to incorporate like uh, barbell rows. And then on squat days, I try to incorporate uh, hand cleans and power cleans and stuff like that. So that's really uh, my routine of uh, how I uh, live, what kind of music you listen to. So get like when I went in the army, my music, my music choice before I went in, it was like mostly rap and uh, rap and R&B. But uh, now it's starting to like, it's like I listen to more gospel, um, more like rock stuff. It kind of came towards me because at prep, like, in the weight room, all you listen to is like rock and stuff. So uh, that's how I started getting the rock. And uh, yeah, but it's still like rap, rock, and a little bit of hard style. If y'all boys don't know what hard style is, don't worry about it. But <laughs> yeah, a little bit of hard style. Uh, favorite lift. So my favorite lift by far, it was bench press, not gonna lie. But when I started like tweaking my shoulder and stuff, started to come a little bit unenjoyable because like every time I bench after it's like a little bit of pain but now it's squats uh squats I really have no pain when I squat and then I can throw around a lot of weight when I squat so by far squats uh what's your lift program um yeah like I just said push pull legs um what position uh I play DN slash D tackle. Uh so the way we ran it was uh I played five tech, four tech, and then three and then I even played some at uh 
uh, no, so pretty much everything. I play anything on the DR. I play anything from nose to uh, DN. Uh, how tall are you? I'm like 6'2. Hey, right. so Like it might get in the way of our relationship and ask if I would just, you know, delete it. All right, y'all boys headed to the gym. Today I'm gonna hit legs. So usually I try to hit legs hard, but today I'm gonna hit it a little light. Uh, since I just ran in the morning, so I'm gonna hit it a little light. I'm gonna start off with uh, compounds, probably like four or five for a couple. Probably top set of five and then uh, I just do some a lot of sessions after that, but yeah, that's really uh, what I'm gonna do today. Got a boy Z. Think about this. Think about where you at, and then think about the other 2,000, all them other people that's trying to get in the position you in, right? Everybody want offers. All y'all want offers. Everybody trying to go D1. Think about all them boys. All the other boys that's trying to go D1. You gotta outwork all of them. That gotta be your mindset when you in the gym, when you going on the field and working out. Your mindset gotta be to outwork the the, the man that's that's trying to get what I want, man. Cause bro, when you get higher up, when you get to college and all that, it's it's just gonna get harder, man. You gotta outwork, you gotta you gotta work harder, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta work harder than every every person that's trying to get what you want man. there's so many other kids that want exactly what you want you think you the only person that want what you want man you the only person i want to go d1 you the only person i want to play big time ball no you're not so your mindset has to be i have to outwork every single one of them outwork every single one of them bro and then by the time that happens man you gonna get what you want bro. but that has to be the mindset is to outwork and uh, yeah, man, about to go, uh, about to go out where everybody needs weights, man. Let's get it.
boy just finished up the workout, man. So, so it was my first time taking pre-workout, right? First time taking pre-workout, and I was feeling it, man. I told myself I was gonna do four or five for a couple reps, but bro, I was feeling good. I was like, gotta throw that 500 on there. Did it five reps, slight. Did like two sets of that, and then yeah, man, finished all with some accessories. And then we had like short time, so I didn't really get to uh, go as hard as I want, but got a decent workout in. Yeah, man, it wasn't that bad. Uh, my camera just died, but yeah, man, got it in, got it done. Uh, the boy Z uh, about to go home, cook up some. My boy Kobe made some good food, so about to eat that, and then it's about to call it a day, man. You need to miss all of them. Right. You want me to get the things? Yeah. You want me to get the things? Right. You ain't got rings or whatever. Where's my hand? Because I had some ways to fucking run. And I couldn't get no cards. Bro, I'm gonna get y'all drop. Bro. 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 Ah! 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 Play with me, Jit. Ah! Play with me. Ah! 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 All right, man. So we wrapping up the day. Good chicken. No, that's chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo. My diet, like, it's not really like. I eat whatever, but it's like you have to work out with it, right? So eat relatively healthy food, right? But eat healthy, right? Like, whatever my mom cook, that's usually what I eat. But it ain't no like, like I don't like I don't diet and all that. Like most of my most of it is like genetics. But whatever my mom cook, Kamari I mean. eats everything. There is nothing that he does not eat. Kamari eats everything. He do not turn down his plate. He do not have no specific diet. He what he's not supposed to eat. He eat what he's supposed to eat. He eats your food, his food, my food. Yeah. My sophomore year, I was 250 pounds, and my mom was whipping up in the kitchen. That's what I ate. Ate a lot of chicken and rice, ate a lot of rice and beans and all that, but uh, yeah, man. Uh, my diet is not too strict, none of that. Just eat, man. You'll get bigger. That's all you gotta do is eat. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. We is out, baby. Yeah, you do it. What you got? You got it. All right, restart. You got to feel like you're shooting.